Hey everyone, this is Mike with Gentleman, and this video will learn about data blending or data joining. But the tricky part here is that you can join or blend data sets living in different data sources. So for example, if you have your tickets in Zendesk, you have your transactions in Stripe, you can blend or combine or consolidate these data sets, these tables together into one table inside of Jetman. So this is an introduction video, so it's not going to be an in-depth dive into all the nuances of uh, or examples of how to blend, blend data. I'll just show one very basic example. I have here my air table and my Firebase connected using the sync connection. And once again, if you don't know what the sync connection within the jet internal terminology, please refer to a separate video. I've made a video uh, covering that topic. So I have my air table here and I have my companies. This is the collection we'll need. And this collection has a foreign key of category ID. So pretty much it points to uh, the category collection. This collection is not found here because it's living in a separate data source in Firebase. So if I go to Firebase, I can find this very collection categories and I have these IDs, the primary key of this collection. So I want to do now is I want to, within the Airtable collection, I want to create a new virtual or new SQL collection that will have all the records from my company's collection. So all the company fields and one field from my category collection, which is category. So pretty much I want all my companies to have this one field of category, okay? So to do that, I click here on create new SQL query. I'll name my collection, okay? And here's pretty much our SQL builder. This is where you can write all the custom SQL queries. And as you can see, on the right here, I have all the resources available for referencing. These are resources that I've connected using the sync connection. So all the resources that you connect through the sync, they will be listed here. And sometimes it's even uh, the best practice to name those resources as Airtable sync, Firebase sync, because sometimes for some use cases you want to have both connections. Uh, so you want to have Airtable collections connected through the sync connection and Airtable collections connected through direct connections. Okay, so let's get started. We'll write select and uh, we'll use aliases. So uh, I have here in my air table, I have my companies table. I'll open this up so you can click and it's going to pretty much show all the fields from this collection. You can click and it's going to collapse. And as I said, I want to show all these fields. So I will type companies dot. Okay. And then I'll go uh, over to my Firebase collection, open up the category, and here I have category. So I'll type in categories dot, and then I can click this insert into query uh, icon here. And we'll do it, we'll effectively insert this field reference into the query. Okay, and I'm gonna do from, and from and here I will set aliases so I will once again go into my uh, companies collection and you have the same insert in the query uh, icon in front of the whole collection so you can reference this collection click here as companies so that's the alias okay and then we write left join once again, now we go to our Firebase collection categories, do the same here as categories. Okay, and the last thing that we, that's left here is on companies and here dot and we reference this category ID field from the companies collection, a certain to query, here it is. Great equals categories dot id looks nice let's test it okay that seems to have worked and we click save and let's check so we have all our fields from the companies collection and we indeed have 
this column fetched from the categories collection. So that was it. This is pretty much how you blend or join data across different data sources. You can use multiple data sources. There are obviously more complex use cases, but I hope this video helped you understand the basics of how to perform joins or blend your data. Okay. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great one. Bye.